Hey, welcome to Rust Revival Garage. My name is Tim. Uh, my neighbor is giving me his old fridge. He's redone his kitchen and he's like, yeah, do you want this fridge? I'm like, sure. Uh, I just got to get it over here to my house. The problem is uh, I've got a hand truck, a little, you know, the little dolly truck. But my problem is, is that the wheel, the tire has come off the wheel. And it happens a lot on these. These are tubeless tires. And so I wanted to try something to see if I could get that tire back on the wheel and sort of rebeat it, I guess. Uh, so let's see if this works. So if you've got one of these, you might have had to deal with this at some point in the past. Maybe you bought new tires. I was thinking about getting new tires, but they're like 30, 40 bucks. And so I kind of wanted to see if this works. Um, got a ratchet strap and I've got, this is actually a great little tool that I use to pump air in my tires. And I'm going to see if I can strap the tire down to the wheel, get a nice good seal all the way around and then try to pump it up. Here we go. Technically, this isn't a ratchet strap, but hopefully I can get it tight enough to pull that tire down to make a good seal. Let's get it nice and lined up on here. Uh, I don't think I can do this without an actual ratchet strap. Okay, this should work a little better. Again, make sure it's straight on the tire. I bet it'll work better if I'm pretty even. It's about as tight as I'm going to get it, I think. It's holding on there. So I got the ratchet strap off. The recommended tire pressure is 30 for these tires. And right now I'm at about 19 and a half. So I think I'm going to go up to about 28. Let's see if I'm there. There we go. So the wheel is back on and it does work. Now I just need to try the other side. So again, just make sure your valve stem is sticking out, I guess, and make sure it's pretty centered on the tire and that the tire is centered on the wheel. Didn't have to go too far last time. Let's try it again this time. Okay, I only put about 7 PSI in there. Got our thingy off. And there we are, good as new. Saved myself 20 bucks. Now it's time to go get the fridge. So yeah, I hope that helps you out. Uh, like it if you got anything out of it. Leave me a comment down below uh, if you have any questions and uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, whenever I'm finding out new things, I try to share them with you guys. So thank you very much for tuning in and we will catch you next time.